Some years ago, when I was married, I had a rude awakening one day. Actually, it didn't quite come that way. What happened was I had been going through a long, extended period of difficulties, not really because of her, although I didn't know that. The rude awakening was when I was uh, talking with my spiritual mentor one day, and I was describing yet again the difficulties I was having. And he said, you know, Ron, you need to ask yourself if you love her. I said, what the hell kind of a question is that? Of course I love her. She's my wife. He said, well, you know, Ron, love means no conditions, no expectations, no judgments. And all I can remember about that moment was the, the clutch in my brain slipping. I was aghast at the possibilities. I talked it through with him and realized that I didn't know a thing about loving without condition, which, by the way, is an oxymoron because love means no conditions. So he challenged me. It was a big challenge to learn how to love this woman no matter what, without a condition. It took about three years of research, study, a lot of prayer, a lot of meditation. And eventually the day came when I was able to accept her exactly on the terms she offered, exactly as she was and exactly as she was not. I called my mentor. I was pretty pleased with myself. And he said, well, that's great, Ron, but you know, love can't go one direction. You have to apply it to everyone. <laughs> like, come on, man, give me a break here. He said, no, it's, it's, it's a principle, Ron. You either let go of conditions for everyone or you aren't loving anyone. Well, that took me into quite an exploration. One of the things I learned was that I would also have to learn how to love myself without condition as I was loving everyone else. And the day came where I can say I had a passable practice at loving everything, everyone, exactly the way they are and exactly the way they aren't. A lot of the people who work with me now would say that they experience non-judgment quite often, which is really quite miraculous, all things considered. And then I heard a phrase from Father Richard Rule who said, everything belongs. Everything belongs. It's the only basis for loving. You can try it. It'll change your life.